Well, guys, big win for you today. I'll start with you, Quaid. You had a bunch of big plays, a uh, long touchdown run. What was working well for you today offensively? Uh, mostly blocking. I think blocking was good. I mean, I probably not blocking this place would have been one yard piece. So I think that's all I can say is blocking was phenomenal. Yeah. You, they had that long punt, and then you ripped off a big touchdown on this near sideline. What did you see on that play? How did, how did that develop, you think? Uh, just just run the ball, I guess. I don't know. Good blocking. <laughs> Again, um, I don't know. Yeah. Speaking of which, this guy to your left blocks quite a, quite a bit does. for you. Yeah. What, what do you think of this young man? Uh, he's a dog. I like him. <laughs> he's good at what he does. <laughs> well, Coy, you, you blocked. You ran the ball a little bit, you caught a couple touchdown passes, a big day for you. Yeah, no, it was great, great. Everyone played great today. Uh, proud of everyone. Everyone come out, stepped up, did their assignments, and that's what led to the victory. So you guys have wrapped up the two seed in the West for the playoffs. You know, how, how big is that for you guys uh, moving forward? That's huge for us. That's huge for us to have a secure spot going in, and then we got to start taking week to week, playoff games week to week, and uh, we just got to win out and keep doing our assignments and execute is what it comes down to. What, what have you guys been focused on here late in the season, Quade, to, to kind of make this push towards the postseason? Uh, mostly focusing on our assignments. Uh, everybody doing their assignments. How battle test do you think this team is being in this major West Conference? Uh, great, great. We've been we, we played a tough varsity team last year. We failed them in the semis. Got a little chip on our shoulder coming back. Um, I hope that's propelling everybody. But we played we played a lot of great teams this season too, and uh, and that's great playing in the West Conference, getting those games early. You know, so when we get to the playoffs, we, we have that battle test in this, like you said. And uh, no, it's great. It's great. To, it's great feeling. It's it's great going in to have that experience in these tight games like this. All right, guys. Well, best luck to you in the playoffs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Big win for your ball club today. You, you really pounded it at them, and every once in a while snuck a little pass over the top. I guess, what did you, what did you think of your team's performance in this win over Dubois? We kind of emphasize this game as being another playoff game this week. Uh, you know, kind of a must win for us, we thought. And uh, the kids you know, showed up and played with this brand of ball that we played. And we just called Tiger football out there. And uh, we have the athletes to do it right now. So, you know, it's obviously a huge advantage for us to be able to do that. And the kids love to play physical football. And, uh, it just kind of takes care of itself in the course of the game. So. And it kind of takes care of itself when you guys don't have to do too much in terms of you know getting the team to play physical because they just love to hit. I mean, the, you can hear pads popping all over the place today. Yeah, that's the way it is in practice. Uh, there's a lot of days we have to tone it down in practice because they're just getting after it. And, you know, uh, Like I said, it's a luxury to have that. Um, not every team gets that advantage, and right now we have it. You've got some special guys on your side of the ball. How do you feel you utilize them and, and how that's developed as the season's gone along? Yeah, you know, we uh, you know had a really good summer. We got to go to a Shadron team camp and kind of learn some of our strengths and weaknesses there and kind of work on that the rest of the summer. And, uh, you know, we have some, like you said, some really special athletes out there. And we, we hope we cater to a lot of their talents as much as possible. And uh, once again, you know, we you know uh, can switch our offense up if we need to. Uh, but right now with the power football working, that's just kind of what we're geared towards. And, just that physical brand of football. So you've wrapped up the two seed in the playoffs. So next week, you know, obviously means something to you, but you know, maybe takes a little pressure off at the same time. Yeah, it does. And you know, we don't want to go into it as a letdown week. I mean, it's still a game we want to go in there and win. Uh, you know, you don't want to drive, you know, six hours up to Burlington and not, you know, uh, try to, you know, uh, get a win up there. Uh, they've had some uh, tough games as well this year, but they're still a good football player. They have a lot of good athletes out there, and they seem like they're pretty deep too. So we'll still have our hands full next week, and uh, we look forward to the trip up there. What, what do you think you? can potentially do as you, as you you know maybe don't look past Burlington but you know think about the playoffs down the road yeah some of our goals this year we, we are really hoping to host a playoff game looks like that should probably happen this year uh, so that's kind of the big first step and you know after that we're hoping the sky's the limit but we just got to take it week by week and game by game and you know try to stay humble and you know focus on you know uh, our goal for that week thanks for your time today thank you